All right, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you're doing fine. And today we're going to talk about 1.8.1, which got deployed on the test server on Tuesday. Now, there's a couple of topics that we're going to talk about today. The first one will be the quest system, which is probably the biggest implementation with this one. Then we will talk about new AI or new AI variants because there are two new grunts. Then afterwards, I'm also going to talk a little bit regarding the audio. And then we're going to talk about new skins because there is a couple. And then at the end, I will drop my personal opinion as usual. And there might be one or two things that are in the patch notes, but I'm not going to cover that in the video because it's just some super minor thing. And because of that, I'm going to post a link in the description that brings you right to the patch notes. And I'm also going to give you a link to the latest dev stream where they discuss all of this. All right, let's get started. Okay, first let's talk about the new quest system, which is probably the biggest thing regarding 1.8.1. So it replaces the current daily and weekly system, which is nice because it was kind of trash anyway. I don't think a lot of people care about that. You have now a new in-game tab that is called Summons. So they call quest summons, which is okay. I mean, they keep it hunt themed, so I like that. You have various difficulty for these summons from one to six stars. And you finish the quests and then you will get these stars. You will also get other rewards, but I'm going to show you the whole screen in a bit. Once all stars are collected, the weekly is done. In total, you need 30 and you can have up to three quests at a time. Now, actually, you can only have two. The third slot, you have to unlock it with BBs, with 300 BBs currently. Now, keep in mind, they said during the dev stream that this might change. So you can give them feedback. It might even be a weekly unlock, but then it costs way less BBs. I honestly th hope it's just a one-time purchase and then we were done with this. And these quests are repeatable. But more about that in a second. Let's have a look how this looks in-game. So, progress tab, summons tab. Then you have here nine quests to pick from. This is your pool of quests. You cannot reshuffle this. Everybody has a different pool. It resets weekly. You can see this over here. This is where you have your progress regarding how many stars you grinded already. So I'm currently just starting that one. This is where you can see the difficulty. This is a one star. You only have to kill 10 highs. So this is super easy. Besides the stars, you get also some rewards here. For example, I get a pistol tier 2. And then you have two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars, and six stars. The more stars, the more difficulty. Um, there is one legendary quest, and it's this one right here, where you have to kill hunters with a legendary that is called the uh, Stalker Snarl. And this is important to mention, this is from a DLC pack that I don't own yet. So yes, the legendary quest where you need a legendary skin can be a skin that you don't own yet. We're gonna talk about that in the opinion chapter, by the way. Um, I don't know what's in the pool regarding these legendary skins. I thought it would be only BB Hunters, but it's also DLCs. I don't know if there can be a quest with a Twitch drop skin, like for example, kill, I don't know, six Hunters as Billy Story. That I don't know. Down here you have then your active quest slots, so I have like kill hives, kill the lantern grunts and kill the pistol grunts. So I picked red up easy quests for completion. If I complete this, I would get in total 5 stars. Alright, and once I have my 30 stars, I get these 25 BBs. Pretty straightforward. Okay, then I want to quickly talk about frequently asked questions because there were a lot during the dev stream and I tried to cover, you know, those that got asked a bazillion times. All right. Everybody has the same quest. We answered that already. That's a no. Everybody has their own pool. How much is the third unlock? That's three in BBs. Can I have the same quest multiple times? No. You can have three quests, but they have to be different ones. Can I cancel a quest? Yes, you can. Is the progress shared? Yes. That's interesting, actually, because if you have to kill 10 hives and your teammate is killing a hive, that counts for you. I think that's pretty nice. Can I repeat quests? Yes. Can I shuffle the quests like a new roll of quests? No, you cannot. All right. Those are the frequently asked questions. 
there, there will be more in the comment sections. I try to answer them. Keep in mind that I also post the link to the patch notes and also to the dev stream. So you can look that up over there if you want to have more reasoning behind the choice of this and when you want to listen to the devs explaining this. All right, so this is the quest system. We're going to talk, we're definitely going to talk about that one in the opinion chapter at the end. Okay, now let's have a look at the new grunts. Okay, so there are two new grunt variations. The first one is a lantern grunt, the second one is a pistol grunt. Now, let's start with the lantern grunt. Uh, this might surprise you, but he spawns with a lantern in his hand. And it can be lit or unlit. If it's lit and he hits you with a melee attack, well, you're gonna be on fire. And if there's a red barrel right next to you, you're gonna have a really, really bad time. If the lantern is unlit, this will create an oil pool where he performed the melee attack. Now, I saw a lot of people asking during the dev stream and also yesterday during my stream, does that mean that my hunter is covered in oil? No, so you're not coated in oil, it's just the oil puddle or the oil, oil pool on the ground. Uh, people are asking for a passive buff regarding incendiary rounds, it's not the case. So incendiary rounds still have to two-tap you to set your ablaze if you don't have any charcoal effect already on you. I don't think the impact here will be that big. Uh, there will be maybe a new, couple new Reddit clips where people start their own space program with red barrels and lantern grunts. But otherwise, you can of course use these lantern grunts with the unlit lantern to create, I don't know, maybe a huge pool of oil that you can ignite then and then you have a whole field on fire. Okay, maybe, maybe you can do something there. Maybe for depending on boss level, we will see. Then the pistol grunt, he wields a rusted broken pistol. And the moment he performs a melee attack and hits you, um, the gun will explode and will play a gunshot sound. Uh, people were like, oh my god, he's gonna hit me. It will be probably long ammo and then I'm gonna die after a spark shot. Well, after spark shot, you die to the melee anyway. But it's just a sound effect. There will be no bullet fired, okay? It only deals me melee damage. Also, people were asking, oh, that's cool. I can play three hunters and then pick up the pistol or maybe get ammo from this guy. No. In the current state, maybe one day to add that. In the current state, this rusted, broken pistol is only playing the sound effect. You, you can't pick it up and play it then, and there will be nothing to increase your ammo pool. There's a couple more things regarding grunts and behavior, regarding holding stuff. Um, they drop now what they carry. So if they carry a torch, or for example, the Dr. Grunt with that um, poison saw blade, or if they have a cleaver, they actually drop the weapons now. And the torch, for example, even plays this uh, fire sound effect until it goes out. Just a minor thing, but there you go. All right, that's it regarding the new Grunt variations. Let's jump to the next topic. Okay, then audio, it's not much, but I want to mention it because the impact might actually be quite heavy for the sneaky boys out there. For example, hanging chains and other objects now play a sound when crouch walking through them. It's a very faint sound, or it should be, because I played on a test server and I think this is buggy right now because I heard absolutely nothing. It just performed like on live server, but this, this will most likely change. Now, bullet casings are now audible when they fall on the ground. Um, yeah, okay. I, I tested it with the label. Um, every time you cycle the bolt, they drop one of these casings, okay. When you empty the uppercut, when you have to reload it, you drop a couple cases on the ground. It's not very loud because people were asking me, hey, uh, will I be able to track people who are reloading just by the sound of the bullet casing? Like if you're actually tracking somebody and they're running away, the footsteps are way louder than the bullet casing. It's just an immersion detail. Um, it seems to be out of sync with a few guns. Nothing that they can't fix, but yeah. And also sound design improvements on the door impacts on destruction. Okay, all right. Um, that's it regarding the audio. I also said there are a few things that I will not go into too much detail or that don't deserve their own chapter. I'm gonna cover that right now. Uh, brawler variant adjustments increased heavy melee damage on all brawler variants to bring them in line with dusters. So, 
they deal then the same amount of damage, but they still have the kind of huge consumption regarding stamina. So the Dusters are still more efficient, which is okay. And also the Nitro Custom Ammo got a rework. Well, a rework. Actually, it just got a rename. Because the Nitro Dum Dum Rounds were always a pain in the ass for me to explain. Because Dum Dum Rounds, they apply bleed, right? But they have no penetration. Oh, like on the Springfield, on the packs, on the conversion pistol. No penetration the moment you take uh, bleed rounds. If you play the Nitro Door with the Dum Dum Rounds, that thing still has penetration. Applies bleed, that's okay. But it also increased the one hit kill range significantly when you shoot, like, for example, the Torso. So finally they renamed this and the Nitro Dum Dum Rounds are now called Shredder Rounds. Okay, so it's just a cosmetic change. Nothing will change here regarding the gameplay. Okay, that's it. Then I would say we have a look at the new um, skins because there is a couple. So okay, this chapter won't take too long. So we have two new BB Hunters. I think they're BBs because they're not in a DLC bundle and two new BB Guns. We're gonna have Luna Wolf and we're gonna have the Dire Wolf. And they look. I, I think they look like. Come on. Regarding the skins in this game, Crytek is just f fucking amazing, okay? <sighs> Absolutely. I don't know. I, I just love them. I'm not a huge fan of the BB guns. Not because, well, they look bad, but one is a Springfield Dead Eye Compact. I'm not a huge fan of that, but it looks amazing. And the other one is the Label Aperture skin. This one right here. And those are flower petals, I think. Maybe from Wolf Spain. So, you know, wolves. Th there's a big wolf theme here. Then we also have a DLC. This one going right here. And I have to say, let me quickly open that one. That is just uh, really, really crazy. Okay. So we have here this... Lonely Howl DLC package with the Lonely Howl the Hunter. Then we also have the Ripper with the Caldwell Pax Claw, Stalker Snarl with the Hunting Bow and the Rawhide Dusters. He looks like the stuff out of Nightmares. I can't wait to play nighttime maps with my traps and a bow or a crossbow. Hmm? Yep. That's gonna be fun. Okay, and at the end, my humble personal opinion, should you care about that? If you're still here, it's nice that you seem to care about it. So let's get this started. I try to keep uh, keep it short. So first of all, 1.8.1 is just a minor patch, in my opinion. It's nothing... Wow. I'm actually a little bit disappointed, if I'm honest with you guys. I wanted to see more. Like, the new grunts, this is okay. I think the impact regarding the gameplay will be... Yeah, sure, dude. I will probably, now that I mention it, first day on live server, one of these uh, Lantern guys are gonna hit me and kill me for Red Barrel. But still, I think in the big picture, it does not add much to the game. Just for a little bit more, you know, variation regarding the enemies, which is okay. But I wanted a new AI. Something completely new to play with. But I think I'm still spoiled from last year where we got custom ammo, a new boss and a new map. And now it's uh, almost May. And that's it. Uh, we got a couple guns. Yeah, okay. I think they're cool, but not exactly what I wanted. Then um, the quest system is... I'm happy that they reworked the daily and the weekly because it was just not good. So I think the current quest system or the quest system that is on the server right now is better. I am not a huge fan regarding this legendary quest thing. I dislike it, and I think it's not good that you can have a quest, the one that gives you the most, and it kind of forces you to buy a skin. Now, before everybody is losing their mind, okay, it, it doesn't really matter regarding completing your weekly. There are so many quests. You can easily complete your weekly with other quests. You don't have to complete or to accept this legendary quest. Okay? Just keep that in mind. That That's not the point here. Like, also, but Mike, then you will miss out on these five BBs that were a reward in uh, the screenshot. I don't care about five BBs. 
like that that's that's uh <laughs> below average match and I have five BBs. Okay? Not the point. Not the point. The point is that there is again some exclusivity or some exclusive quests there with uh, DLCs. They did that already during the event where um, you get 10% more points when you used specific hunters and there were only the DLC hunters and no BB hunters. And they're doing it kinda again. And the 10% from the event are whatever, okay? The impact was... And the same right here. You can grind the quests with, uh, or the, the weekly with other quests easily. And the five BBs as a reward is again, whatever. That is not the point. But that they're kind of playing around lately with this FOMO thing there. I'm gonna talk about that in a different video. Uh, FOMO, by the way, if you don't know what I mean with that, is fear of missing out. So sure, they have to make money. They're a company, okay? Don't be surprised by that. They have to make money. We want uh, a live service, so they have to make, or they, they need a constant flow of money to support us. All fine, all good, I get that. But that, that there's again this kind of testing the water here, how far can we go before people, you know, are, are kind of pissed. Not a fan. So it's not about, for me personally, that uh, I might not have that skin. For your weekly completion, this will be whatever. Same as with the event, these 10% is whatever. It's more about the message that they're sending with this that I'm not a huge fan about that. But we're gonna talk about this in an upcoming video in a couple days, uh, where I'll talk about the current state of Hunt Showdown. Currently working on that one. Yeah, and that's it. This is my personal opinion regarding 1.8.1. Ah, stop! The skins. The skins are fucking amazing. But the artwork from Crytek was always amazing and probably always will be. There, there's almost... No legendary skin that I really dislike. I might dislike the gun, but not, you know, the artwork for it. So yeah, there's it. The other stuff regarding the audio and stuff like that. The, the Brawler rework and the Nitro rename. That's... Yeah, okay. Not the biggest impact. Okay. I said I'd try to keep it short, and here you go. That's uh, <laughs> five minutes of personal opinion. And um, I would say have fun with it. You can go on a test server right now test it a little bit i'm already done with that because well there's not that much to test if there's bugs report them uh through their bug report system on their homepage or maybe in the official discord don't do it in my discord this is not the place to do it do it at the official place then i don't have to forward it and they have it directly okay let's roll the outro and that's it with 1.8.1 .1. not the biggest update but hey, at the end of the day, I'm still happy something is happening. We're gonna discuss the current state of the game soon, so stay tuned for that one. People who are making me way more than just happy can be seen here, my patrons. Thank you for the support, my friends. Thank you for watching. Let's see what future patches will bring. Until then, get out there and keep hunting. i see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and bye-bye.